Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is the Hot Man a Minute, and I am back. Hallelujah. YouTube shut me down. I'm back after two long weeks. And I got a word for y'all tonight that are going through trial and testing, affliction, and spiritual warfare. It's words for you, man, because you're going to understand what I'm talking about in a second here. Um, first, I'm going to start posting links for all of our backup channels on the community page of this channel. So be on the lookout. I tried to post them all in one link in, in like one big community post twice and YouTube deleted it. So they're obviously, um, they need Jesus really bad, right? So anyways, um, I was talking with some brothers and sisters on the Zoom call that we do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, there's a gang of beloved brothers and sisters that be calling in and we just be sharpening iron. Um, praise the Lord for that. Iron sharpens iron. And I was talking about this with them on that call. And then after the call, the Lord sort of showed me some scriptures. And I want to share that with you guys. So what we we're talking about was that dude, uh, Dabu777, he posted a link. And I checked it out. It's legit. NASA and all these places are saying how there's going to be, um, and I mean, I don't believe anything NASA says, but still, you know, when it's multiple sources, they're talking about how there's going to be a magnetic storm of like a polar shift coming tonight and tomorrow. And I've just been noticing a correlation that whenever there's these astrological signs, there's like intense spiritual warfare that follows on God's people, right? Heaviness, sorrow, sadness, depression, feeling sorry for yourself. These are all demonic spirits that are attacking you, right? Like that whole pipeline thing. That wasn't a hack. That was a solar flare. <laughs> Duh! You know, it's called the program that they hacked, supposedly. It was called Solar Flare. But anyways, we've already talked about all that. But yo, check this out. Some of y'all been going through it like I have, man. We, we're going through it, man. It's like birth pangs. Like it, it's intense and then it stops and then you're good for a minute and then it comes back. And it's even harder than it was the first time. And I'm like, man, Lord, what is going on? And so you got to understand in, in the book of Haggai chapter 2, we're about to receive an anointing. We are literally about to receive a last hour anointing. It says here in Haggai 2.9, the glory of this latter temple, that's you and I, the temple of the living God, shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. The latter shall be greater than the former. Okay, as it was in the book of Acts, it's going to be like now, but more. Jesus says, the works I do, you will do in greater. Brothers and sisters, we are about to receive of that. But before we do, there has to be a thinning out. It's like a, a thinning of the herd because not everybody's heart's right with the Lord. And not only that, he wants you to be totally stripped naked so that when you do receive the anointing, you won't squander it. And you'll respect it and you'll be thankful for it you know what i'm saying so he's got to break you from all your selfishness and pride and arrogance and whatever else because we all got it and how does he break it he breaks us through trials and look at the scripture okay this is how he breaks it this is what this is literally what you are in the middle of right now and what i'm in the middle of isaiah 48 verse 10 the lord thus saith the lord Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you, here we go, in the furnace of affliction. Not for my own sake, for, for, my, own, for my own sake, for my own sake, I will do it. For how should my name be profaned, and I will not give glory to another. So he's got us in the furnace of affliction right now. And the reason he's doing it is so when the anointing comes, we honor and respect and have the fear of the lord and he can trust us because we've been through it you were going through it right now we're in it we're in the furnace of affliction have you been noticing a lot of brothers and sisters that you thought was solid in the lord there's a whole bunch of stuff in the darkness that's now coming to the light have you noticed that because i've noticed that left and right man with all sorts of people remember a righteous man may fall but the lord will get him up though he even fall seven times and, and what does Psalm 34 say? It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver him from each one. We're literally watching this, guys. So I just wanted to share that quick word with you. It's good to be back. I'm going to try to live stream on this uh, tonight or tomorrow. We'll see how that pans out. And I've been doing them Proverbs and Psalms in the morning. Hopefully you guys are liking that. We're doing that on the backup channel. To get to that channel, just go to my community page. Link's right there. All right. Praise the Lord. Please feel free to leave comments. Iron sharpens iron. 
Um, look, man, I, we're all one in Christ, so leave an edifying comment or, or a question or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Let's sharpen iron. I love you guys. And let me just pray over you guys real quick, all right? I know it's going long. Just bear with me. I want to pray over you guys right now. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, touch the viewer of this video right now. Touch them, Father God, with the Holy Spirit and fire right now. I rebuke Satan from coming anywhere near them, their camp, their family, their finances, their vehicles, their pets, or provisions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you, Lord. We just nullify all assignment of the enemy and we just pray, Father God, in all these things that are done, that your will will be done, God. We thank you for your holy will. Help us to submit and just receive your will and embrace it, Lord, with love and kindness. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you guys. Bye.